Alright, let's talk about Venus. It's the second planet from the Sun and is our closest neighbor in space. So, Venus is kinda like Earth in terms of size and structure. But here is a fun fact. It spins in the opposite direction compared to most planets. And its atmosphere is this thick blanket that traps heat, making it crazy hot. Hotter than any other planet in our solar system. We're talking temperatures that can even melt lead and penetrate those clouds. They are volcanoes and some really gnarly looking mountains. Now, the name Venus comes from an old Roman goddess of love and beauty, known as Aphrodite to the Greeks. And guess what? Most of the stuff on Venus is named after women. Back in the day, the Romans saw seven bright things in the sky. The sun, the moon, and the five brightest planets. They named these after their most important gods. Venus being the third brightest thing after the sun and moon, got named after their goddess of love and beauty. She is the only planet with the female god's name. Now, if we went up about 30 miles from Venus' surface, it would be like a cool spring day on Earth, around 86 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too shabby, right? There, yeah, the air pressure is just like what we have here on Earth. Let's talk about the clouds on Venus. They are like race cars, zooming around the planet at up to 224 miles per hour. And guess what? They have these dark streaks that nobody's figured out yet. They are like mystery streaks in the sky. Now, there's this idea that maybe, just maybe, there's some tiny life up there in Venus clouds. You see, on Earth, we found life way up high. And the clouds on Venus might just be comfy enough for some little microbes. They could be like Venusian cloud surfers. Okay, here is a wide thought. Imagine spending a day on Venus. It would be a wild ride because a day there lasts about 243 Earth days. And get this, the sun will rise in the west and set in the east. Total opposite of Earth. Now, Venus and Earth are kinda like cosmic twins if you look at their insides. Both have an iron core, a hot rock middle, and a rocky skin. On both planets, the skin changes and sometimes bursts into volcanoes because of all the heat and pressure. But here's the thing, Venus doesn't have what we call plate tectonics like Earth. That's when continents move around. Instead, it's got something else going on, like volcanoes and mountains. Magellan, a spacecraft, showed us this wide world with its maps. So Venus is a bit of a cosmic enigma. It's a lot like Earth, but also incredibly different. And studying Venus could help us understand not just our planet, but others out there too. All right. I think that's enough about Venus for now. It's quite a planet and actually very incredible. If you got anything out of this video, don't forget to like and share with your friends. Also make sure you subscribe for more interesting videos from Trilus.